Oh boy. Hey everybody, it's me, BK Tuba. And I'm here to do my first Let's Play. It's gonna be Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Yep, this game holds a place very near and dear to me. Always has been and always will. I know all the little details of this game from beginning to end. All the cameos, everything. I've done a lot of research on this game, even down to Stop and Swap. But I'm not going to get into that, I'm just here to play. Let's get an opening with this, the best opening sequence for any video game ever. I'm not saying that as a Banjo Kazooie fan, but just come on, look at it and listen. It's awesome. Get a drink there. Yeah. You play that xylophone, Mamba. Play it. Well, now the fiddle. Play that fiddle. Yeah, you know. Uh, Banjo's all mad. Keeps finding a new instrument. Well, there we go with the fiddle again. You know, Kazooie playing the little trumpet kazoo thing. Doesn't look like a kazoo to me. You know, last time I checked, kazoos were long and hummed into them, but maybe that's a kazoo. I don't know. She's playing the piccolo. And, you know, Banjo with his rare wear banjo. It's got the rare symbol on it. Woohoo! Yep, so this is Banjo Kazooie. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, let me see. Gotta find a slot to play this on. 200 notes. One jigsaw on seven. And wow, yeah, I didn't get too far on that. Oh, uh, that's my, uh, that's the file I was actually gonna use for my world record world record run but uh, I'm gonna probably get into that later I might get back in so let's just use this one alright Z to erase and am I sure yes I'm sure alright let's get cooking banjo even though you guys didn't see a hundred percent file in there yes I have beaten this game a hundred percent before so this is not a blind LP but this is blind for me actually LPing just got my capture card so let's get started now let's go in here Broken bridge outside her mouth. Up the winding staircase we go. Step, step, step. Step, step. Do, 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 do. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Well, kind of like a sore thumb, don't you think? Oh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Well. Well, it's pretty young and, or too young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Stop hitting me. I don't like it when you hit me. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, here's some interesting facts. That line is the only line in Banjo-Kazooie that she does not rhyme. She does rhyme. She doesn't rhyme in Banjo Tooie, but you know, if I ever do an LP of that, then you'll see why she doesn't rhyme. But that in this game, that is the only line that she will not rhyme. Hi there, Tootie. What are you doing? Going to do today? When my lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Going on an adventure, Mr. Mole. Adventure. Oh, okay. Snore. <sighs> Snore. Oh. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! <laughs> if Trudy thinks she's better than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly shell be. <laughs> Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Oh, because that's definitely him, Mr. Mole. Yeah, up there in the sky, he's flying around on a broom, you know, because 
the brother of a bear is gonna be a witch flying around in the sky with a giant castle that takes up a good amount of land. It's probably a good property value. Let me tell you, ugly hag. Don't scratch and bite my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh no, she got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up now! Uh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I fell over. Ha <laughs> ha. Why does she have a bed? Like, she's in that backpack. You know, she can probably get out. Oh yep. I'm actually controlling this now. It's you know we do little hops and stuff. But, uh, yeah, like that. Hop, hop. Might as well show you. Doesn't really matter in the long run. The little hops don't ever show up again. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm gonna be here and give you all your moves and be your boot camp instructor. This is my yeah, just introducing and does he talk? Better than you, Doggo Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch, Gratilla, swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Dickie. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up into the mountain lair. It's really dangerous up there. I'm not going to rhyme like Gratilda does, but I should because it makes the game funnier. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or B if you're already good enough. Breaking the fourth wall much because you know choose A or B. I'm actually gonna go and choose B because I already know all the moves. And you can do you know I can get through this a whole bunch faster if I don't have to stop and talk to him six times. I'll just give you the basic moves then. Meet me up at top of Spiral Mountain when you're ready. And we're running. Yep, you can now jump and jump a bunch higher. And go over here. There's actually an extra life. You hold down Z just like in any other platformer. Basically, you hold down Z and hit A. You'll do a backflip. And you'll jump extra high. But in this game, it doesn't really matter which one. It's just a higher jump. That's all it is. And I'll let you know when I'm actually going to use that more. Oh, no. Run over the molehill. We don't want to talk to him anymore. We already know all of our moves. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Let's do some LPs. Alright, now if you jump and then hold down A, you know, Kazooie will come out of her backpack and let her wings fly for you. She will not fly forever, so just remember that. This is an extra honeycomb piece. An uh, extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Alright, basically there's six in this world and two in every other world in the game. They're hidden pretty well s most of the time. I don't can't think of any that kind of just stand out. Usually, have to do something to get them or find them. And, right? To climb on a tree is just like climbing a ladder, you jump onto it, etc. And if you climb up this tree, there's an extra honeycomb piece. That's part. That's number two in this game. In this level called this level is called Spiral Mountain. It's outside the overworld, I guess you could say. It goes this and then to the overworld. Gruntilda's, Gruntilda's lair. I can't talk today. You do the little flappy jump and you'll get over here. I know that's definitely the technical term, excuse me. But I can't think of the name. I'll probably put an annotation in there letting you know what that name's actually called. Yep. If you jump and hit B, then you'll, cause you'll come out and peck any enemy in sight. Kind of like that. Yeah, you know, most enemies are one-hit kills. Some are two, depending on it. Um, if you're in the water, hit B. You'll go underwater. If you hold down B, Kazooie will use her wings. If you just hold down A, it's a little easier to control. But Kazooie will just kick, kick it. You know, kick to swim. It's not. It's very fast. Stand still, hit B. It does a little punch move. Not really useful. Um, yeah. If you 
crouch and then hit B. You'll thrust forward with Kazooie's beak out in front of you. You'll push buttons, break things. That's why I'm actually going over here to destroy these quarries, which this is what the enemy is actually called, quarry. It never shows up in another Banjo game. And if you destroy all of them, you get a fifth honeycomb piece. Alright, get away from me. Ah, uh, we run over here, and then here's a Collywobble. This is Collywobble. He's a flying cauliflower. And he has your six honeycomb piece, so go and peck him out of the sky, and you'll go up to six energies. Six hits. I'm really wanting this to be a no death run, even through Rusty Bucket Bay. I know. Rusty Bucket Bay. See this carrot? This is Topper. Just like any other enemy, peck at him, and he'll. You know, he'll die. I'm dropping honeycomb. I'm not going to pick up any honeycomb because I want to see how long I'll go without seeing the animation for it. Or the little tiny cutscene thing. And the onion back there that I just killed was ball. So I say, you know, we have our six honeycomb pieces. I say we go up to the top of Spiral Mountain and meet bottles up at the top. Just listen to this music. This music is amazing. All Banjo-Kazooie music is just great. Oh, uh, here we go. So, you think you're ready to tackle the witch now? There we are. For we sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge and enter Gatilda's lair. Look out for me inside there. Good luck. And I tried to rhyme again, but I don't rhyme, so... Now let's just cross this bridge and get in there. Maybe we can get, yeah. You know. I'll probably just end it. Oh, wait, we have a cutscene. Oh my god, look, she's like crammed in there. Oh, 2D, poor 2D. This bike contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and totally old. Here we go with the rhyming. Let me go, you fat hag, my brother will come and kick your butt. Oh, I expect her to rhyme too. But she doesn't, and yeah, you know, there's many dangers in my lair. You know, typical villain talk. Never get through. So pull the switch, she's tired of being a witch, blah blah blah. And I'm tired of being all, I'm tired of being all crammed in here. I wanna be thin and young again. Banjo, help! Shiver, shiver. Shiver, shiver. Shiver, shiver. Alright, with that being said, I think we're gonna go and end it here. I could continue, but no. I think this is a good long video. Oh, I'll see y'all next time. This is Banjo, or uh, BK Tuba, signing out. See y'all next time. Let's play Banjo-Kazooie. Bye, y'all.